Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to make this spiral animation in 3D in Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so to make this animation we need to import some uh, module libraries for example IPy widgets. Okay, so this one is basically create uh, this thing. Okay, so import IPy widgets and import widgets. Okay. After that, we will import from MPL toolkits import mplot 3D. Uh, we need this one to plot 3D graph. If I don't import, uh, I can't able to plot 3D graph. Okay. Import numpy to use my mathematical functions. Okay. As np import uh, matplotlib to plot the graph. Plotlib dot by plot as plt so we are going to create a function called theta t uh, that t is basically my parameter and first i have to define my you know the graph size how big is this graph going to be so type fig plt dot figure and type fig size fig size basically tells what is the size of my figure okay for example 10 comma 15 is the size of my of this figure after type after that i will type ax axis plt dot axis uh, and we will type projection equal to 3d because it is a 3d graph okay uh, if you are not familiar with 3d graph uh, i highly recommend that you uh, for a moment just check out the blog link because I have explained a lot of details there so it is quite useful for you after that I will type the axis name for example z axis so z axis is the one that goes upward okay so this one is the z axis and okay so z so np dot line space zero comma t comma five hundred after that uh, x equal to n p dot sign z y equal to n p dot cos Z and ax dot dot plot three D and just type the name of the axis x y z and enter the color name as per the requirement. I am using red color, but if you want to use any other color, you can do it. And plt dot show because I want to show the graph. Uh, just to note that plt dot show is necessary for you know pie charms and one more thing that ipy widgets only work in jupyter notebook not in pycharm so sorry for those people after that i will type widgets dot interact bracket uh, here we will name the function name that is theta t uh, widgets don't worry i will explain the code play minimum value that is 0 maximum value that is 15 and done so let's try to understand how does uh, let's run this code after that we will try to understand how does this code work so theta comma and if i play this code yeah it's working now and one more thing we can do is uh, now let's try to understand how does this code work so I have already explained all these parameters so I'm not going to explain again now this one is basically defined by the figure of the size for example if I increase to 20 and shift enter you can see my graph size is uh, getting big so it is good for if you want to do presentation or something else again it's up to you I prefer 10 after that let's see other parameters so this one is basically plot 3d graph 
zxy already explained this one is z axis x and y axis respectively uh, these are the functions and these these will plot x y z axis now this one the important one widgets dot interact so i have created widgets that basically interactive widget so in interactive first i have to define a function okay so my function is theta so what i am trying to play or animate okay so i'm trying to change the value of t that is the parameter of t okay 0 to t so with time my t will change okay t which is dot play so this is basically the thing that is playing in my animation so here i have tell that the minimum value is 0 and the maximum it can goes up to 15 so simply you can click on play and you can get the animation and if you want this animation will run forever simply click on this icon loop and click on play so your animation will run okay and i highly recommend you check out my blog link or my github library for more cool codes and better, better understanding and i hope you've learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts and queries make sure that you ask in comments thanks for watching and have a great day namaste